you think tax force are the most effective ways of addressing this problem? Tax force in the sense that they are deriving their source of authority from the district assemblies. And they will have to be encouraged to carry out that exercise without fear or favor. I don't think that respectfully adhering to the principles of planning and development will solve the case? Mr. Chairman, planning had already been done, and people are already on the ground occupying such places. It takes indiscipline for one to put up a house in the lane, and that the tax folks, when it is encouraged that a big man is not influencing that my house is in the lane, but because I'm a big man, that house will have to stay there. If the man cannot influence the assembly, and that person cannot influence the tax force, and the tax force has been encouraged to carry out their duties as stated by the assembly, then there will be that discipline over there, and it will go on. Um, my second question has to do with yeah, second. That one was a follow-up. Um, the issue of poultry farming in the Brongafo region. The previous government gave good incentive for poultry farming, especially in the Doma area, and also there was an executive approval for the establishing of a poultry feed factory at Dwayankwanda. What are you going to do to intensify these initiatives to make poultry farming develop once again in the Brongafo region? Mr. Chairman, when given the note by this committee, the, there is or there are plans at foot by the Poultry Farmers Association themselves who are seeking to partner government to enhance their activities over there at Doma area. And because we have stated in our manifesto one district, one factory, or other equipment that is needed to enhance the poultry production will go into partnership with this Poultry Farmers Association to beef it up so that the, the, the size of the poultry farm will go up in the district, affecting the entire region. I'm not aware of the equipment or the supposedly factory, with all respect, that ought to have been established at Biayangwanta. Okay. Um, another concern. Talking to a lot of people from the Brongafo region, there's been so many reported cases of the high incidence of the cultivation of marijuana and cannabis in the region. What are you going to do to stem the tide of this dangerous um, incident in the region? The production of marijuana is illegal, and the law will be enforced to the letter. My last, the bias. Before we left office, through the Domahene, the Brongafo region and the Ministry of Youth and Sports were given a very big land for the construction of a new sports stadium at Old Abyssin. Can you give us an assurance that as the head of the regional coordinating council, you will collaborate with the Ministry of Youth and Sports to make this dream a reality? Respectfully, Mr. Chairman, when I'm giving the nod, I will study the documents over there. And if there is a need for me to give the nod, then I do. That's okay. Um, all right, Barbara, I'll give you one. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And congratulations. I was listening closely and it looks like there, there are a lot of, lot of um, farming activities going on in the Bogaf Bahapu region. We have poultry, 
cashew, and even marijuana. <laughs> In your region, my concern is with the youth of today. They wouldn't want to take farming as, you know, uh, employment. They all want white color jobs. They want to become bankers, teachers, etc. What would you want to do? Or what will you do to encourage young people in the Boga Half region to take farming as an option? Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I'm grateful to the honorable member. I think that there is the need to do this encouragement so that the youth will go into farming. Steps that we need to take is to make farming so attractive. How do we make it attractive? By providing incentives, assuring them that if you go into farming, this is the package. We encourage them to take loans of which the Ministry of Agriculture will have to be part of it so that they will come with packages to that effect and that will bring most of our youth into the farming system. We are all farmers. They use the cocoa farm process to educate us and this is where we have gotten to. And we have some big men that went through the system and then we mentioned them to them that Mr. A, Mr. B, Mr. Z went through this process and there he is. It is not only going through the classroom work that makes you a big man in life or puts you at a particular place that you want to be. You can undertake farming and then become whom you want to be. When they get such stories from us, they will believe it and then do a lot to assist our old men and women who are gradually facing out of the farming activities. Okay. I'll give the last one to um, Kuzetu. Thank you very much, Chairman. My first question will be a clarification that I will be seeking from you. When you were appointed, we all had uh, the Sunyani Traditional Council uh, register their protest. Uh, on, on Valentine Day, I read somewhere that you had made good use of Valentine Day to try to build some uh, rapprochement in the spirit of St. Valentine, uh, and that perhaps you have smoked the peace pipe and all is well. But that's a media report. I just want confirmation uh, whether you uh, now at peace with the Sunyani Traditional Council, uh, if what the, the, the media report I read is accurate, and how do you intend to uh, deepen a cordial relationship with the, with the chiefs moving forward? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The supposedly impasse between the Sunyani Traditional Council and my good self has been settled by the Peace Council and that there is no matter between us anymore. And going forward, I give my word that I will cooperate with Nananum at Sunyani Traditional Council as I will do to the other 48 paramounts. Grateful for that assurance. My second question has to do with ongoing projects in the region leaving the Ministry of Education a while ago, I know that there were many educational projects. Have you been briefed on these projects and uh, what will be your attitude towards ongoing projects that the previous government uh, uh, left in the region? Mr. Chairman, when I'm giving the note by this honorable committee, I will study all the projects that the honorable member is talking of and where there is the need for us to continue we will do where there is the need for us to probe into we will probe where there is the need for us to stop the construction we will do and all will depend upon you honorable house honorable committee mr chairman giving me the note 
my final question. I wonder what you'll be proving about projects, but <laughs> that's, uh, that's up to you. My final question has to do with um, a number of calls I received last week. Did you chair a RECSEC meeting last week? Yes, I did. In what capacity? In what capacity, honorable member? Yes. Talk to that before we show us in. Mr. Record. Honorable Chairman, on the 2nd of February 2017, the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Dodankwa Akufuado, appointed me as the acting regional minister, and I was given a letter to that effect, which reads, Person to the authority vested in me under Article 2561 of the Constitution and Person to Section 14.2 of the Presidential Transition Act 2012, Act 845, I hereby appoint you as my representative to take charge of the affairs of the Brun Ahafo region pending the approval by Parliament of a minister for the region. Two, I take this opportunity to congratulate you on your appointment. Kindly indicate in writing your acceptance or otherwise of this appointment. Thank you. Uh, Chairman, coincidentally, the nominee is an astute lawyer and legal practitioner. Can you indicate to us any provision of the 1992 constitution of the of an acting regional minister? Does the letter say you are the president's representative or acting regional minister? Representative. Chama himself used the word that he was appointed acting regional minister. Show us in the constitution where uh, the president together with you has any constitutional clause to appoint an acting regional minister. Please, I think the position is clear. He misrepresented what he was in, in the answer. Chama, let me say so. Make... It's a meeting of record. No. Um... Are you present representative or acting regional minister? Mr. Chairman of this August committee, acting in that circumstance was not the proper word or choice of word to have been used. It should have been representative. I stated that before reading the letter that appointed me into that capacity. I'm grateful. Okay, now we come to leadership. Uh, I ranking member. Chairman. 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 Present representative in Brown region. I was just wondering whether, if that was the case, why is he appearing before our committee? He's already seen exercising the role and authority in some other capacity. Trust that we will jealously safeguard respect to the letter and spirit of the Constitution, notwithstanding. Brown region, one of the largest regions of our country, let me also join in congratulating you and wishing you well. Uh, one district, one factory. Identify four municipal or district assemblies and recommend same for purposes of addressing youth unemployment. What your plans with the present would be in establishing those district factories. Thank you. Honorable Chairman, the four municipals that I will speak to the president of so that employment opportunities will be available to the youth will be one, 
Kintampo Municipal. Two, Techiman. Chama, if you can just be lazy, in it, what will you do for Kintampo? What will you do for Techiman as you proceed? <coughs> Kintampo Municipal. The youth at Kintampo need jobs. It is jobs all over. And our manifesto partly hinges on job creation. Like I earlier indicated, Kintampo is another area for production of yams and partly casual cultivation area. The youth will be encouraged to go into agriculture and that is one source of employment. At Techiman Municipal, that is number two Oh. So, uh, when they go into farming and produce cashew and yam, what factory will you build out of that? That's what he wants to know. Yes, cashew processing factory, Mr. Chairman. And cashew is also grown at Techiman Municipality. And that covers down to Techiman North and shares boundary with Nkranza, where this cashew is also produced. So citing a factory at Techiman who caused the farmers at Nkranza area also to bring their produce to Techiman for same to be bought. But growing cashew in larger quantities at Nkranza Municipal, another factory can also be cited over there. Going down to Brekum, Brekum is a municipal, but Brekum does not produce cashew. Brekum produces okra, plantain, and tomatoes. So we can build another factory at Brekum to encourage the youth to go into agriculture so that the tomato production will be of some importance to the Brecum municipality. And that will cause the youth to get a lot of job at that end. Jobs in the sense where one will be selling the inputs, one will go into actual farming, and one will get the opportunity to work at the factory. And chairman, the Doma area. Doma area is for the pottery activities. Hatchery. What will you do with poultry? Poultry will assist the farmers to establish hatcheries and all other materials relating to that. The feeding of the chicken, the feeding of the fowls, all will have to be done in such manner that the youth will get the opportunity to work over there. There are other things that go with it. Citing a pen for the poetry itself is another job opportunity for the youth, those who have gone into carpentry to undertake that. DK and God is Love uh, customers have huge expectations and their expectations is to see an opportunity for them to be back to business for them to recoup whatever they invested with accruing uh, interest. I'm aware that the Bank of Ghana, that's my view, uh, lacks supervision or poor or weak supervision contributed to it. Will you work with the Bank of Ghana to bring closure, which ensures smiles of all the customers of DPM and God is Love? The with respect to me, uh, uh, the, the, the questioner, Mr. Chairman, this issue, with all respect, I earlier spoke about and stated that it has to do with. Honorable Chairman, will you or will you not? Who will help? Uh, the 
the brother of which I'm an also understand a creation since April 1959 is noted for its production of cocoa agri uh, business and then also wildlife. What are your plans for the development of the tourism sector in the region? Mr. Chairman, there are three major tourism outfits in the region. One is the Fuller Falls, the other is the Kentampo Water Falls, and the Fiema Monkey Sanctuary. My visit to Fiema recently revealed that the area has become dilapidated. The structures over there had almost collapsed. And there is no security for those who visit the area as tourists. My plans, one, Mr. Chairman, if I'm giving the note, will be providing sufficient security to visitors to the site, making sure that proper structures are put in place so that the visitors can have their day when they go there. And it is same with Kentampo Falls, same with the Fuller Falls. Mr. Chairman, these, are, these three are not the only, only tourist areas in the region. There are others, of which when you honorably give me the nod, I will take steps with RCC to have all this to come to the fore. And that will bring enough revenue to the districts affected and the RCC will have its share of it. Chairman, I'm done, but uh, probably in congratulating and wishing the nominee well, is assured us of guaranteeing the peace and security of all the people living in the Bahafu region. Just a matter of interest, when you are traveling from Techima to Kintampo, the loop up to Bupe, there is no accident and emergency center, and it's noted for many uh, uh, motor-related accident on that road. Uh, it's probably just an advice that you may want to prioritize the establishment of an accident and emergency uh, hospital of a sort in that particular area to serve persons who may be affected. I wish you well. I'm done, Chairman. Um. Uh, I, uh, I just want to suggest to you that the poultry industry in the Doma area, if you would focus on it in addition to others, there's such a huge market already, people demanding 2,000 beds a day which they can't get, so they can't expand their businesses. This, um, fast food businesses. There are some chasing me to establish one in my constituency. So I suggest that you help very well to expand that because the market is growing huge, yes. Uh, I, I have a historical link to Brahafu. Yes, I, I, I went to NG Secondary School for this form. And I, If, if, if the school has assisted me to come here, get this far, uh, and get me to speak like I do, it cannot be a bad school at all. <laughs> and then I did my national service at Nkranza District Assembly, uh, the first place I ever lived as an independent person. My interest is in, 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 in the farming activities, uh, yams and uh, mango in the Wenchi area. I want to encourage you. Uh, Yes, cashew. My client, Mr. Tengia, was the first set of people to start the cashew uh, business there. Encourage, get large tracts of land, and pick some young men and cultivate them to be farmers so that uh, if they do well, it will attract other people. I want you to pick young men and mentor them. 
into farming, in, in farming. And then I'm sure I wish you well. I'm sure, as you see, all the MPs are here to support you, both left and right. And I'm sure they will support you and use them, use their expertise, use their connection, and be a minister for all, not your party people only. Thank you. We congratulate you. And uh, thank you for attending upon the committee. Uh, are there any persons to be acknowledged? Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have the Vice President of the Bronga Hafo Regional House of Chiefs, Nana Bofobrin, or my name of Guinea traditional area. We also have in our midst Mr. Gabriel Kwame Ewea, who is the chairman of the Council of Elders of the MPP in the region. We have Mrs. Gladys Asomachreme, spouse of the nominee. Yeah. We have Mrs. Gifti Amiachreme, who is also here. Over here, then. Over here, then. Oh, you see? That's over here, then. Over here, then. <laughs> she came to support the nominee. <laughs> we have Mr. Felix Chaha. He's the yeah. chief Chaha, yeah. the chief director of the Regional Coordinating Council, and Mr. Yao, Mark Yao Danso. Chief Accountant of the RCC. Nana Owusu Achiang Brempong II is the Omaihine of Atebubu traditional area. Nana Owus Nana Ofori Yabua is the Kafohine of Techre. Nana Owusu Sapon Achiamehine Atebubu. Nana Kwaju Baju Jasehine or Domasi. Nana Opon Chicheku. And Kobi Ahine New Doma Sunyai Nana Techi Mensa Japukum Traditional Council Representative Nana Obin Chreme is Kafuhine of Odomasi number one Nana Amankwa Yabua Adontehine of Amasu Nana Amo Yabua Shiama is Jasenhine of Drobo Nana Inti Ayre Atipimhine of Drobo Barima Dr. Ajay Hine Afram Fu is the Atipimhine of Japikrum Traditional Council and former Regional Director of Education in the Brongahavo region. Nana Ajiman Badu is the Adontinhine of Oriya Domasi. Obremponku Techi II, Omaihine of Abasi. Nana Bafo Amanin Amwa is. Nana Yansuya is Omaihima of Drobo. Nana Akushia Chema is Omaima of Guinim Emilia Ajayasi representative of Atibu Mahima. Nana Afiamiya Bo is a Queen Mother and Atifimhima of Japikum Traditional Council. Nana Usia Amiya is Queen Mother of Uriya Dumasi. Nana Abina Santua Akwemuhima Uriya Dumasi. Nana Abna from Poma Kesi is the Omaima Abasi. Sheikh Abdul Kadel is a regional chief imam for the Brongahavu region. All constituency chairmen of the MPP are here with us, and then the secretaries are here also. And Mr. Alfredo Foriane is the regional secretary of MPP for Brongahavu. Mr. Chairman, all the Abronye is the regional youth organizer. <laughs> He's the regional secretary. <laughs> the only one you know from Brown Harbor is Abronye. I know. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, all the MPs from Brown Harbor, from both sides, are also here to lend their support. Thank okay. you. Thank you. And I remember, um, nominee, we thank you for attending upon the committee. You are discharged. You hear from us. I'm grateful. Thank you.